We're going to gather our gear today, but it's going to be super simple. You need your stuffed animals. I don't know if they use couch cushions, guys. It's bean day! Okay, if you don't have a bean today, that's totally fine. You can do all the stuff. You're just going to need a line. Jim, come say hi to me. We are, as always, hosted by the lovely Gemini Gymnastics, just outside of Chicago in beautiful LaGrange, Illinois. It's a wonderful sunny day. Wish you were here. This is, as always, sponsored by Tumble Track. It's our goal in these weird, wild, and wacky times to make sure everybody has an opportunity to stay safe, to stay home, and to stay active. So that's what we're all about. Trying to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to get fit inside their own homes and practice some great gymnastics material. With that, it's beam day! Ah, super excited. A little bit later in the program, we're gonna give away one of these, an Addy Beam. They're super good. Ah, they're really strong. Um, we just got this. And I'm really impressed by how strong the feet are on it. And it's super light. Perfect. Okay? So, but before we talk about the beam, we had a contest yesterday for these running arms. Do you remember this? Yesterday we practiced with our running arms, trying to make sure that we had 90 degree bends with our arms when we run. Like this. And we didn't want to run like pirates a yard. We wanted to run with railroad arms. Check out yesterday's video to learn more about it. But we had a contest for these. And it looks like Heartland Gymnastics Academy. You're the winner. Thanks for your comment. Thanks for sharing. If you know somebody right now, right now, in this moment, that would love to come hang out with me, Coach Tony, and practice some beam skills, share it. Tag them right now. Bring them along. We'd love to have them. Okay. It's time to warm up. Remember, every day, we warm up, we balance, we do a little strength, we do a little skills, and then we play a game. So we're gonna start with our warm up. We've got our beam today. If you don't have a beam, I have a great alternative for you. You need a stack of books, okay? So you're gonna take a stack of books. They can be hardback or softback. And you're gonna put them on the ground. About this high, yeah? That's good. And we're actually gonna do a soccer warm-up. You see this all the time with a soccer ball. 
But honestly, it's great to do this with a floor beam too. It kind of gets you ready. It's like a progression towards doing it with a soccer ball. This one's a little bit easier. Okay, if you've played soccer, you know this exercise. I call them toe touches. Yeah? I'm going to keep all my weight on my standing leg, and I'm just going to touch the ball of my foot to my beam. And then I'm going to have my hands up, like I'm running. Okay? Now I'm going to switch feet. When I switch feet, I have all my weight on my back leg, and I'm just lightly touching the beam with my front foot. And I switch again, and again, and again. Try it. While you're trying it, I'm going to try it with my books. Do you see how I hold my weight's back? I'm not leaning into the books. I have my weight on top of my standing leg. And I'm just touching. Touch. 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 How'd you do? Are you ready for something harder? Excellent. Okay. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to do the same thing, but fast. So instead of going touch, 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 I'm going to go like this. Touch, 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 touch. Watch. Touch, 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 touch. Did you see it? Check it out. I can do it with my books, too. I keep standing on my standing leg, and I just lightly touch the books, like that. Are you ready? Touch, 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 touch. Did you get it? I'm going to go back to the beam. You can stay on the books if you want, but because I've got my added beam right here, I'm going to use it. All right, let's see. I've got a stopwatch up there. Why don't we see if we can do it for 20 seconds? 20 seconds. And the goal is to stay right on top of our leg. We don't want to fall this way or fall that way or lean too far forward. We want to stay right on top for 20 seconds. Are you ready? Set. Go. One, two. Could you stay in rhythm? That's the best. Yeah? Okay. Good warm up, friends. My arms and my legs really warmed up. I'm going to get a little bit more water. If you have water nearby, you should totally be drinking it now. We got a lot of stuff to do. All right? Now, as is always true, whenever we're doing any gymnastics, make sure you've got a lot of space. Yeah? You don't want anything valuable or breakable close by that you might either hurt that item or yourself on. Like a sibling. Yeah. I don't think you want to hurt your sibling. So make sure you've got a lot of spits, okay? All right, friends, it's beam day. Okay, the first thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna get on our beams, and there's two ways that you can stand on a beam, all right? You can stand on the beam with your toes going one way and your heels going another, and you can decide to put your feet in what's called puzzle piece shapes. So they're kind of like this. All right, here, let me show you. I'm gonna take my feet and I can match them together like this, right? So that the big part of my foot goes in the arch. There, like that. Or 
You can stand with your feet in line, heel to toe, like this. You get to choose, okay? So we're gonna start like that. Now, I'm gonna turn it this way, because I want you to see some of the things that I'm gonna do today. It's a little bit easier if I'm on a diagonal, all right? Now, I'm gonna start with my feet in line, all right? When I do that, I have more of my foot on the beam. So let's try it like that. All right, we're gonna start with nice arms. Just the arms. Don't worry about anything else. So I stand on my beam with my monkey up, my shoulders back, and my chin up. I want it sticking out in front of me. I want it right on top of my monkey. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna put them back. We're gonna call this Low V. Yes? Because look, it's like an upside down V. It's nice and low. Say low V. Very good. You can have it close, you can have it a little bit apart. That's up to you. But this is our low V. Okay? So we're going to put our hands here. Low V. Now show me in front. Now show me high crown. We call this a high crown because it looks like we're going to put a crown on our heads. When I do high crown, I like to have arms almost straight. Sometimes some coaches like it all the way straight. Sometimes some coaches like a little bit of bend. I like it almost straight. That's me. Okay? So I'm going to do high crown. Then I'm going to do side middle. Do you see it? Because it's to the side actually just a little bit behind my shoulders. Okay, just a little bit behind. When I do side middle, my thumb is down. You can tuck it in if you want, but it's still down. I don't have it up, I have it down. Okay, so let's review. Low V, front, high crown, side middle. Let's do it to a beat. Are you ready? We're gonna go one, two, three, Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah? Do you think you can follow along? Let's try. Ready? Arms down. This is going to be one. Let's do it. Ready? And one, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four, again. One, two, three, four. Super good. Yeah? Sometimes it's good to practice doing stuff with our upper body before we even worry about walking back and forth on the beam. Yeah? That's because when we're on the beam, we want to make sure that our head is on top of our shoulders, which is on top of our ribs, which is on top of our hips. That's how we're going to stay on the beam. So if we're moving our arms, all of this should stay still. Don't move it. Okay, ducky. Let's go back to the beam. Okay, so we did one, two, three, four. Remember? Let's get our feet involved. Can you show me nice, strong, straight legs and go up as high as you can? Whoa! That's called relevé. Say it with me. Relevé. It's easy to remember because it kind of sounds like elevators. And elevators go up. So we're going to relevé. Yeah? Okay. Let's try to go relevé on the beat. Last time we went one, two, three, four. Let's try to go relevé on two, and four. Those are even numbers. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Coach Tony. Okay. Two and four. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm completely wrong. We're actually gonna go up on one and three. Silly me. Okay, we're gonna go up on one and three. The odd numbers. Odd, like Coach Tony. Okay, we're gonna put our hands down. And let's try. We're going to go one, two, three, four. 
Up, one, down, two. Up, three, down, four. How'd you do? Let's try it again. Ready? One, two, three, four. Up, one, down, two. Up, three, down, four. Yeah! Okay, are you ready for your challenge? We're gonna try and put them together. So we've got our arms and our feet. Do you think you can do it? Let's try. We start hands down, and we're gonna go up on one. We're gonna go down on two. We're gonna go up on three, and back down on four. Again, we're gonna go up and down. Up and down. Whoa! Super good. Okay, you ready? Let's try it at a little bit faster pace. One, two, three, and four. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Super good. That's kind of like rubbing your belly and patting your head at the same time. If you think you can do this one, that's awesome. You should totally post it and send it. Yesterday, I got a lot of really good posts with people doing their bridge book stacks. That was the best. Okay. That one took a lot of creativity. I had to think a lot, right? Check it out. I've got my badge band on today, but I got it on my ankle. Isn't that funny? So, I'm going to give myself a creativity badge right there. Super good. I love those ones. They've got a little light bulb on it. Shows that I'm thinking. All right, let's go on to our next exercise. Are you ready? Let's practice those releves again. But this time, we're gonna walk across the beam, right? I'm gonna set it this way. Yeah. Ta-da! Okay, I'm gonna start on one side. And remember those arms we just did? Let's do this exercise with the high crown, okay? So I'm gonna go high crown, and I'm going to go releve. Now I'm going to try and keep this shape and walk across the beam. How'd you do? Here's how you know you're doing it really well. If it feels like you've got sticks on your legs, and they're just kind of maybe like a pirate, right? Like you just kind of got a little hobble to you. Then you're doing it right. Watch again. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna make my pirate legs up, and I'm just gonna wobble. Oop, 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 oop. Yes? I wanna avoid being kind of dainty with bent knees. Instead, I wanna be stick straight, high crown. If you want a challenge, take big steps. Big, long, nice strides. Okay? Excellent. Let's try sideways. Same thing. You're actually going to start with your heels off the beam in the back. Then you're going to put your arms side middle. Remember this from our exercise? Side middle. Up on our toes, pirate legs. Sideways. Oh, this one's really tricky for me. Whoa. 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 Keep your monkey on top of the beam. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. Ah. I did it. How'd you do? Good job. You can do all of this 
on that line on the floor. Then you just gotta keep yourself super honest. Did you stay on the line? Or did you kind of fall? Try again. Yeah? Let's try going backwards. Yeah. Okay, this is our last arm position that we had. Low V. Yeah, remember this? Let's try going up on releve, low V. Pirate legs. Hey, yar. Whoa, whoa. Hey, yar. Whoa. <laughs> This one's really hard. I gotta make sure that I'm growing through the top of my head and I'm pushing down into the earth with my feet. So I grow and I push. You ready? Watch me. I'm gonna grow and push. Now I'm gonna take those nice steps. Woo, that was better. Not the best, but still better. Then I'm gonna make sure that I'm feeling the beam with my toes, so I know where the edge is, so I don't fall off. Okay, let's try again. Backwards, low V. Beep, 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 beep. Feel the beam, boop. Feel the beam, boop. Feel it. I did it. Yeah. How'd you do? Pretty good. These are called releve walks. All right? Good. Now, let's try a little bit of a challenge. All right? When you go to do a handstand on the beam, you're actually going to have your hands like a butterfly. Oh, super pretty. Oh, pretty butterfly. We're going to put our hands like that, and we're going to do a couple exercises on the beam to get ourselves ready and brave and strong so that we can start doing handstands on the beam. But first, we need to learn how to take weight on our hands in this funky position. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is bear walks. Remember these? We do them on the ground all the time. Let's try them on the beam. Whoa, my fingers are down on the sides. Whoa. Whoa. Did you do it? You want a challenge? Ducky ducky. Let's try going backwards. Whoa. 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 That one's great. It helps build all those little stabilizer muscles in your elbows and your wrists and your shoulders so that when you get up in a handstand, you can kind of wiggle a little bit with all those and be strong enough to fix it. Okay. Let's try the next one. I call these bunny hops. Okay, it's not like bunny hops like this. It's bunny hops on a, um, with your hands like an actual bunny hops. You ever seen a bunny hop? They go hands, feet. Hands, feet. And they go zoom, 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 right? So we're gonna do that on the beam. We're gonna go hands, feet. Hands, feet. But we're gonna do it up here. It's a great chance to practice those butterfly hands. Thumbs together, fingers on the side, right? You go hands, feet, hands, feet, hands, feet, hands, feet, hands, feet. How'd you do? Was it good? Let's go back, same thing. Ready? Hands, feet, hands, feet, hands, feet, hands, feet. Woo! Super good. All right, our last animal is a donkey. Donkey kicks. We put our feet on and our butterfly hands on and we try to jump. Now, a great way to start this exercise is actually off the end. Like this, hands down. Let's do three jumps. You ready? And one, two, three. Whoa. Very good. Let's try it on the beam. One, two, three. Excellent. Whoa. Okay. Now the last thing we're gonna do on our V 
green was actually for our skill badge. Remember, we've got our badge band on, and we're going to try and earn our super cool skill badge. Ready? We're going to do our lever kicks. If you don't know what lever kicks are, you should check out last week's videos. We did handstands and cartwheels, and inside of it, we did lever kicks every day. It was awesome. So hopefully you have a super strong lever kick right now, and you can try it. We're gonna go very small. Have our hands down in front of us, and we're just gonna lever and do a tiny hop. That's it. That's the whole thing. Our focus is to see if we can start with our whole foot on the beam and land with our whole foot on the beam. If I land with only part of my foot on the beam, I might fall off. Now, I don't think I'm going to get hurt because the beam's pretty low. But if I want to stay on the beam, as I go to put my foot down, I'm going to put my whole foot on the beam. All five of my toes. Okay? Let's try it. Hands in butterfly. Lever. Just a tiny little hop. Trying to get our whole foot back on the beam. Ready? Hop. Whoa! I did it! Let's try the other leg. What? Yeah. By doing the other leg, I'm getting my brain ready for cartwheels. Cartwheels, I'm going to land on this foot. Not this foot, which is my favorite foot. That's why my favorite foot got the badge band. This foot is what I'm going to land on for my cartwheel. So I should start doing lever kicks on this foot right now. Like, now. Like, right these, now these. That's how you're going to learn your cartwheel much faster. Okay? So we're going to go here, butterfly hands, lever, kick. Ah! See? I got to work on it. Why don't you try a couple, and I'll try a couple. I'll see you in a minute. Ready? That's pretty good. I gotta see if I can get my whole foot on there though. You ready? Well, that was a little bit better. Maybe I can point through my foot when I come off the beam. Let's see. Look! I did it! That was awesome! Now the next step, which we're not gonna do today, but if you want a challenge, is to try and keep your arms squeezy to your head when you do your lever kicks. Like this. That's for another day though. All right, that was our skill of the day. Where's my patches? Oh, here they are. I gotta give myself my star skill badge. Last time it took me about ooh, 10 classes to fill my sleeve up. This one's a little bit bigger. So maybe I'll get to get more badges on it. Okay, we did our warm up, we did our balance, we did our, uh, oh, we haven't done our strength yet. We did our skill, now we have to do our strength. Are you ready? This one's super hard. Ever since we started home gymnastics, we've talked about plank. We've talked about how we can make a nice straight body line in our plank, right? And we talk about being too low and too high and just right. Just right is that beautiful straight body shape for plank. Let's try it on the beam. In fact, let's try it with our butterfly hands. Are you ready? 
We're going to put our hands on the beam, our feet on the beam, and let's practice too low. Let's practice too high. And let's show just right. Shoulders on top. How'd you do? Pretty good? Let's go through that four times, right? We're gonna go too low, too high, just right. We're gonna do it four times. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, hands down, feet back. Show me too low, show me too high, show me just right. That's one. If you don't have a beam, do it on the line. It's just as good. You ready? Show me too low, too high, just right. That's two. Too low, too high, just right. That's three. Last one. Too low, too high, just right. Excellent. Planks are really fun on the beam. There's a lot of ways you can challenge yourself. Maybe in the future, we'll try to do push-ups on the beam. But not this way. That's a good way. But a challenging way is this way. Oh. <laughs> Next time, friends. Okay. We did our strength. We did our skill. Guess what? Oh, wait a minute. I can't forget my strength badge. He's got a super awesome muscle. Okay, after I get my strength badge, just like that, it's time for our game. Okay, I'm just gonna show you the game, and you're gonna play the game at home. I've got my stuffed animals. I'm going to put them on the beam. Yeah. And then I'm going to take a couple of my books. Oh, here they are. I'm going to put them on the beam, too. It'll be like that. Okay. Now i got to get from one end of the beam to the other. I can't wake up my animals, and I can't knock, knock off the books. You ready? Yeah! I did it! If you want to challenge yourself, try it with your animal walks. Whoa. This way is really challenging. Don't knock over any of the books. Can make a fun game with your beam. Just put a bunch of stuff on it and see if you can get across it. There's a lot of other really fun games that you can play with the beam. Maybe we'll get to that on our next beam day. Okay, I want to thank you all for being a part of beam day. Now it's time for the question of the day. Yeah, the contest is a beam. These are the Addy beams. We love them. They're so good, really strong, perfect for at home. Okay? So for your question of the day, you've got to answer the question and then share this video with a friend. And that's how you enter in the contest. All right. What should our question be? 
Hmm. All right. I've got it. What was the name of this arm position? I'll give you a hint. It was a letter. Okay? So if you can tell me what name of this arm position, share this with a friend who you think would love this video. Maybe a coach, maybe a neighbor, maybe a cousin across the country. We're all in this together. We all want to play together. We all want to smile every single day. I hope this video made you smile. I love doing these. I'm coming at you live from Gemini Gymnastics just outside of Chicago, Illinois in beautiful LaGrange. My name is Coach Tony. It's been an absolute pleasure. I'm with Ninja Monkey Jim. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Yeah? As always, this program is sponsored by Tumble Track. They really just want everybody to stay safe, stay active, and have opportunities to do some home gymnastics in your own house. That's why they're giving away so much of this equipment. They want everybody to have a chance in these weird, wild, and wacky times to stay safe, stay strong, stay active. It's always a pleasure. I love doing this with you guys. Hit me up. Would love to talk to you. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Bye, friends.